Yo, quick history lesson. Tap dance derives from African slaves who had their drums taken away from them. When those drums were taken away from them, they made those same rhythms with their bodies, which was called hand boning, similar to what you would see in step dancing today in African American fraternities. Now, when they were told to stop doing that, they evolved those rhythms down to their feet. Now, the great migration happens and slaves start to escape plantations and get to the north for freedom and cultures from all around the world get to the north for opportunity and they land in a place called Five Points, New York, where the black culture and the Irish culture dominated. Now, they partied, fused music musical styles and the Irish culture brought Irish step dancing, also known as the Irish jig, which is what you would see in river dance today. And the black culture brought that more evolved foot percussion style, which is similar to what you would see in hoofing today. And a young black dancer by the name of William Henry Lane, or also Master Juba, was the first person to really fuse all the styles together in a manner in which he seemed to be tapping his feet. So he is who the world first called a tap dancer. So saying the Irish culture invented tap dance first is like saying the Irish culture invented hip hop. Down to the basement, fill the buckets with cheese. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. What? That's take me out to the ball game. Huh? Take me out to the ball game, take me out with the crowd. Those lyrics make no sense. Awesome tap. A lot of you don't know this, but Jeanette. I call her Jungle Beast. He does. She's so good. People don't know she's as good as she is. She's a triple threat. I'm so embarrassed. Acts, sings, and dances. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my gosh, I'm so red right now. Let's I match my first, dress. Let's do the first step. Okay. Isn't she crazy? She's a beast. I was stop doing wings too. It's that thing that you see everybody do. Kind of fun. Fun stuff. I love tapping. I actually tapped for a while. I tapped for like three years. A while back, but I haven't tapped for about four years now. So it's really when I found out there was going to be a tap routine. I've got to admit, I'm admitting only to you guys that I was petrified. And then um, I actually had to learn this in a day. 
so that made it even scarier. And towards the end of that day, I think I left the tap studio where we were practicing at like 10 o'clock. And I was like, oh, I just hope that I can have this down by shoot day. And uh, I think I do, so I'm really excited. And I hope that you guys like it. I hope you guys love the episode. And I hope it's a lot of fun for you to watch. I am locked in a self-quarantine. Thanks so much, Corona. The economy's the worst we've seen. And now my grandma thinks that she can justify hysteria. She feels inside, so she takes eight or out of van every day. I keep telling her, Grandma, your body can't handle it. You're 82. I guess I'm sort of doing the same. What I mean to say is I'm just trying to tune out my brain. Relax by watching everything on Hulu and on Netflix and on True TV and Pluto, Disney Plus, and Quibbles. Is that even out yet? Or about Peacock? I can't remember them all. I am truly terrified. For when I'm no longer pacified, oh, by every streaming service, will I get what I deserve this night? Thank you.